All right, welcome back to Truck in the Seven Seas. This is episode number 28. And for this episode, we are headed to the East Coast and get some pretty good loads in this one. And we end up going completely out of route on uh, one of them, which was annoying, but yeah, 400 miles out of route on one of our loads, uh, which is never a good sign. But uh, other than that, pretty smooth sailing. And we are currently making our way to Pennsylvania still. We're gonna go see the fall colors and visit some family. So that's what we're doing right now. And after that though, we're headed back to the West Coast because update on the lease, uh, it's currently in maintenance. And here's a photo, they got the tires off and uh, they're replacing the tires right now. So they are actively working on it. And I would think that by the time I get back from Pennsylvania, it should be ready or just nearly ready. So. That's the update on the lease. Uh, broken record, it can't be too much longer. We should be in the lease fairly soon. But either way, just gonna keep trucking until then. So last episode, we left off in Las Vegas and we're taking a load to Woodland, California. Let's go. Right, drop the load going to Woodland, California. Got dispatched on another one going from Tracy, California to Corona, California, which is Los Angeles. Let's go. Okay, delivered the load going to Corona, California. Then I got dispatched on another one going from Chino, California, all the way to Memphis, Tennessee. Let's do it. the Memphis Tennessee load then got dispatched on another one going from Conway Arkansas to Bessemer Alabama let's go Okay, so I made a bit of a mistake on the Conway load. Uh, so, at night transportation, when they dispatch you on the load, you get a message, and then you also get like a uh, like a load board sort of dispatch thing that shows a map and all the places and whatnot. And I looked at the load board map and saw that it was in Conway, Arkansas. So I immediately started driving to Conway, Arkansas, got all the way there, to the shipper, which is about 200 miles, and then they said the load had already been picked up. So I'm like, oh, that's weird, okay. So I call my dispatch, and they're like, oh no, that one got relayed in Memphis, which I was just there, like 20 miles away. So I'm like, oh. And then, so I look back at the message that they send, because they send a message, and then they get you like your load board sort of thing, they're, and they're different. And on the message, it said it was relayed at the night transportation yard. So, didn't see that, and I just drove 400 miles out of route for that load. So that's annoying, um, very annoying. But what are you gonna do? I didn't see it. It's not clear at all when you have to do this. Um, so on this one, I just missed it. Uh, that's a screw up. But yeah, 400 miles out of route on that last load, but whatever. Um, whoops. Um, yeah, so we're unloaded though, and got dispatched on another one going from Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama to Savannah, Georgia. 
However, that load is not gonna be on this paycheck, so we're gonna get into the spreadsheet right now. Okay, it's spreadsheet time. All right, so I'm still using my phone. I can't get the Xbox game bar to work or any other ones. I mean, they're not very good as far as the screen recorder goes. So we're still gonna use my phone, still on the phone. I have a computer uh, waiting at home. So I, I bought a new computer for editing. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna try to reinvent the wheel on the screen recording thing. I'm just gonna keep using my phone. It's good enough. But yeah, anyways, for week 31, we got four loads. And in those four loads, we got 3,062 miles. We were paid $36 of detention, which brought us to $1,505.76 for an average of 49 cents per mile. That brings our overall to 68,969 miles, and we did pay a total of $36,371 at 53 cents per mile. This 53 cents per mile does include layover and detention. If you do not include layover and detention, it goes down to 49 cents per mile. We're averaging 2,225 miles per week and our average weekly paycheck is $1,173 at the same rate per mile. If we were to continue this for a 52 week period, we get 115,000 miles and be paid a total of $61,000 at again, same rate per mile and all these numbers are gross pay. We've been employed 232 days and we've taken 19 days off had 34 days of layover and 14 hours of detention. Between layover and detention, we've been paid a total of $2,502. We've spent 213 days on duty, and during those on duty days, we've gotten an average of $170 per on duty day. We spent 179 days driving, and every driving day, we get an average of $203. If you'd like to know how much you'd make in a given week, if you only work say four or five or six days per week, just multiply this 170 and this $200 by however many days you work per week, four or five or six or whatever, and that will give you an upper and lower range of uh, what your paycheck would be every week if you work four, five or six days per week. Average load length is 633 miles, and we spent an average of 385 where we spend or we get an average of 385 miles every day we're on the road driving all right yeah there's week 31 uh good week that uh, tennessee load was pretty good uh this uh these numbers here do not include the 400 miles i went completely out of route so just a note there had i not done that i would have gotten a little bit further but uh whoops um yeah if anybody was wondering, they actually didn't say anything to me about that. Um, it's not totally clear when you're supposed to do that. Um, and normally you get a message saying, hey, this thing has been relayed at the Memphis yard or whatever. And I didn't get that message, which you usually get, or actually almost always get. So uh, definitely my fault, but since they didn't send me that message explicitly saying that it was relayed, uh, they couldn't get too mad at me. So whatever it's my fault but uh it, it's very unclear when you have to do that so they usually send you a message they just didn't send me a message this time so i missed it so yeah but so but yeah if anybody was wondering they actually didn't say anything to me about that so okay um yeah so we're headed to pennsylvania well we're trying to get our way up to pennsylvania right now and once in pennsylvania i'm going to spend a couple days with family and I'm gonna go see the fall colors, which is always nice. So I'm gonna do that. And then after that little trip there, going straight back to Phoenix. And hopefully by the time I get back to Phoenix, the truck is ready, the lease is ready. And then we'll uh, enter, enter the lease and go from there. But that will do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in truck driving, there's a link down below. Just hit that link, fill out your information and a driver recruiter will get a hold of you. And if you are interested in these spreadsheets, uh, they are available in the about section down below, both this spreadsheet, a blank template, and the lease analysis I did a few months back uh, are all available down below. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.